The Lord be with you. <coughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Fishermen in Jesus' time were very highly skilled, right? not only at catching the fish, knowing where the fish would be, but then collecting the fish, going through them. They had the skills. They could look at them. They could smell them. They could feel, touch, and they could know what was an unhealthy fish and what was a good fish. And then they could discard what was no, not good. And then they could sell what was good, right? So they didn't just bring the fish, throw it out, and have people come and buy it. First, they went through that whole process. And so Jesus, in this parable, Jesus is trying to help us to understand that the Father has that skill, and even greater. He knows exactly what's in our minds and our hearts. He knows our struggles. He knows where we failed. He knows where we tried over and over again to be good and maybe have failed. And so, first of all, we have to put our trust in His mercy, in God's mercy and His love. Secondly, and here's the good news, we don't have to remain stinky fish. The fish in the parable that were unhealthy could not change. When they caught them, what they were is what they remained. It is different for, for us as we remain in the net of this world and our time on earth, we do not have to remain in our sins. We can be healed through the power of the Holy Spirit, the risen Christ Jesus, touches us, our minds and our hearts, into those deepest areas to bring us freedom, to bring us health. We can be the most unhealthy people of our souls, right? Walk into a, this small room and hear from the priest, I absolve you from your sins. And we walk out of that room completely new, transformed, alive, in the risen Christ, out of the tomb, out of death, and into new life. And daily, through the risen Christ, through the Scripture, through the Eucharist, through the sacraments, through our very own baptism, how we can continue to draw on that life, to be transformed, and then to trust, put our trust that the Father in his love and mercy, even if we're struggling with something over and over again, but our intent, we just keep going back over and over to him. We have to trust he knows better than the fishermen know their fish. 
Uh, the merciful Father knows what our struggles. And yes, as Jesus says, there is the very real possibility for eternal separation. As we know that, that is the truth in our faith. But in the meantime, let us place our trust in mercy in him, even if we're failing. Our first reading gave us very, another very symbolic understanding, the potter and the clay, right? And over and over again, as the potter's working on it, and it's quite not coming together how he wants it to, he begins again. And so that is the same reality with us, with the power of the risen Lord and his grace. We can continue over and over again. We can begin again and again and again. As we continue with the Holy Mass, wherever our hearts and minds are right now, let us invite the risen Lord Jesus again. Let us with courage and faith tell him, mold me, Lord, whatever it takes, mold me in the power of your grace so that I can be good and healthy and whole and chosen. Thank you.